he won't be able to squeeze past me with uh, the leg in, so. I don't appreciate Bye. it. Right, cab's a bit of a mess, but there we go. Let's get the hell on out of here. Straight after this car. Yes, let's go. Well, that's bloody up it. Right, we've got a fun little delivery do to do. Blah, 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 blah. We've got a fun little delivery to do here. Uh, we're in sort of like the surrounding Plymouth area. Um, got some just some Harris fence panels to deliver, just 12. Uh, nice, easy, gonna carry them off the side of the lorry with the guys. If they're there, I'm hoping they're there, or else I, I can't really do anything. Uh, but happy Tuesday, everyone. It's Tuesday. First time in two weeks I'm not recording on a Saturday. I don't think I'm working Saturday either, so. But I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone enjoyed last week's video, moving and delivering 200 ton, over 200 ton, in one single day, which was bloody awesome. Today's gonna to be just probably a little rambled up random video. Um, we, there's not much to record at the moment, so I'm doing my best, I'm doing my best. Oh, I know where I am now. Right, I don't think it's far from along here. Right, we're gonna have to back in, I think. Ah, uh, nah, we'll drive in. We'll drive in and back out. Let's do that. Let's back up first. I don't wanna screw my mirrors up. You guys coming down now, talk to me. All right, buddy. All right. Yeah, not bad. Do you mind if I record? Are you happy with that? Yeah. All right, cheers, mate. Yeah, just 12 fence panels. Well, you know that anyway. Yeah. You ordered it. Yeah. Uh, what I'm thinking is my lorry's a bit longer than the other one I was in. Yeah. So I might... Yeah. Oh. Uh, this away. Oh yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we right. dumped all the fence yeah. panels there, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon if I, if you watch me back, yeah. I'll just get more of an angle so I come in like that. Yeah. And then I'll just drive into here. And then just chuck them off, yeah? Sweet. Ah, this should be pretty easy. So he's going to watch me back, basically, so I can get a better angle as to what I'm doing, to be honest. So should be pretty easy. Should be pretty easy. Ah, branches, leave me alone. Oh, they're hanging. Right, what I want to do is just cut this corner a bit better. I can turn in a lot better then. I'm stick my axle up. Then I can turn into that corner a little bit better then. Oh, it's going to be fun getting out of this. Oh, 
All right. That's that. Check me out at home. Oh, Dale. Huh? Easier than last time. Yeah, yeah, much easier. <laughs> you wouldn't have even got this in here last time, would you? Take these straps off. Oh, Dale. Oh, there you go. There we go. All right, that's that delivery done. Clear up the rubbish. Uh, actually, I can take them off you. Yeah. yeah, I'll take them off, and then yeah. you took you took the wood. I'll take the. That's all right. I'll just chuck it in the skip and get back. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get a scribble on then. Get out of here. I keep the one you signed. Yeah, I don't you. Know what time Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Really, really top guys. Really, really nice people. And that's, they're the sort of people I want to be delivering to every day, you know? Upbeat people that you can have a laugh with, you know? Oh, I think I'm good. Legend, see you later. <laughs> Always give them a toot toot to say thank you. On to said next one. I don't like driving through little villages like this where you've got cars parked here and cars parked here because none of it's double-sided, double-sided tape, double yellow line. So you've constantly, you're constantly sort of driving through here. You have to stop, wait for somebody to let you out, then keep, keep on driving, then keep driving, then stop, then keep driving, then stop. It really irritates me. I, I wish they would just double, Dub, double yellow line like all the center of villages personally but that's just my that's just my thought anyway we are not too far away from said delivery we got two packs of lovely 21 foot tube to come off we've got the countryside there beautiful scenery um so this this drop should only take about i'm gonna say about a half an hour based on the fact that I've got to lift it up and over a building, then sort of drop it into a little gap um, once it, you know, once the stuff I'm lifting has stopped spinning. It's a bit of a pain, but you know, it's perfectly doable. Right, I'm not gonna record this delivery because there's the, the company logo is everywhere. So I will see you when I back out of here. Right. Just spoken to the guy and he said I'm able to record this delivery. So I am recording. I'm just not gonna get the company logo in the video. Stick you to my chest. I'm leaving the uh, engine running because it's only two straps I need to undo. So there's no point turning the engine off. As you can see, there's not a lot of space here. But you gotta work with what you've got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my side post then, just so it stops. I want to lift it up and over that basically, and then down into the yard. All right, let's get the crane out. Right there. Drop the leg there. So yeah, what what I have to do is lift it from there up and over this building and then down into this gap in here so i got me remote put the crane up and we'll just start this one. i'm hoping i've dropped it central done it as best as i can I can do that because I've got my side post in, then it's not going to swing, it's just going to hit the side post. There we go. So what I want to do is just lift the straight up. Actually, it's probably going to swing a bit. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, that's fine, mate. No worries. You can get her low enough, you can grab her then. Okay. Ah, she's spinning the right way now. Well, that one was a success. Now we just got this one to do. It's quite a dangerous lift, this really, but you can't do it any other way. You, you, you literally can't. Because they're just too long. They're too long. This one's a lot better. Jobs are good in. Easy as that. take we are minutes from the yard so I'm glad he's going slower than I'm hoping he was literally just doing this I wonder what he's calculating anyway thank you very much fellow Volvo driver flashing me in we should be back any minute now <laughs> And we are back, back in the yard, and I think we're just loading up to move some gear, which isn't too bad, should be nice and easy. Thank you. Hello, what are we loading? Right, so we're loading up to take some kit over. Uh, we're loading up a mix of stuff basically. So this should look pretty interesting when it's done. Uh, this is the first lift by the looks of it. Yummy scrummy. Yeah. That's good. Nice. Get a strip out ready to start strapping up. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> That's so good. Ben was just going, what, what are you saying? Zero five. And he was like, and then he goes, ah, oh, you're a quarter. Uh, finished loading up This is the load and a question I've always wanted to know will a load of trucks splash a golf ball? Oh, God, <laughs> what the flip? Successful experiment. <laughs> and the tire didn't pop, so that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now. Okay. Okay, okay. bye. <laughs> that was good. I wasn't I was expecting it to crush it at least. But fair enough. Well now that experiment is done and completed. I am 
just getting ready to leave the yard, but we are only moving this stuff, so it's not a delivery or anything. I don't know what I've got for the rest of the week, you know. I really don't know. Let me find out. Let me find out. I am heavy, though. She's heavy. She's a heavy gal. She's definitely a heavy gal. I want to find out what I've got for the rest of the week. And that will determine the end of this video. Matty is being very helpful. Oh. Hey, screw you, Matt. <laughs> I don't appreciate Bye. it. Tomorrow won't be able to record and pretty sure on Friday I won't be able to record either. Um, I will just double check that fact. I think it's a fact, but we'll see. Yeah, we could record on Friday. We could record on Friday. Do we record on Friday? I'll see you Friday. Happy Friday everyone, we are back in. My gloves are wet from yesterday even though these are supposed to be waterproof. Just do me checks and then we can hit the road. And as you can tell, we haven't got a lot on this morning, but that is surprisingly weighty. That probably weighs about a ton and a half. Just that, that silver thing there. Oh, all the lights are working. That's a good thing. <sighs> I'm not with it today, guys. I woke up late this morning. Woke up late. Not, not that late, just woke up late. So I haven't had like the time to wake myself up properly. Um, which, in my opinion, is one of the worst feelings ever. Right, yes, I know I've been doing my checks, I've been at work for a little while, but the card is going in and we'll just do a manual entry for that. As long as it's recorded, that's all that matters. Um, I don't have to have the card in um, whilst I'm doing my checks, I can just do a manual entry afterwards because I started work at 7 and that's what it will say. I just haven't been driving. That's the main thing. As long as your car's in when you're driving, then, yeah, that's what it really needs to record. But yeah, as you can see, finished yesterday at five o'clock, so, and I've been on, I've been on rest since seven, other work from seven till quarter past eight. Jobs are good at. So, only got one delivery this morning. It's quite an easy one actually. Um, I got two options: either back into the yard really awkwardly, or block the road for a minute and take off what I've got to deliver. I'll kind of just decide what I'm going to do when I get there. Um, blocking the road and just delivering it through the gates that way is a lot easier but driving in the yard means I'm out of everyone's way and I'm not blocking anyone, I can take my time then. We'll see when I get there. Let's power up the old entertainment system. Lovely. And we're uh, virtually good to go. Fill out the defect book for today before we do go. Right, on the road, weather's miserable. We've only got a 40 minute, 45 minute journey to this delivery, and then we're good. I'm just hoping the rain stops by the time we get there. Oh, I'm so groggy this morning. I tell you what, <coughs> not giving yourself a chance to wake up properly, 
you know, waking up late, not giving yourself a chance to wake up is one of the worst feelings, I think. The rain is coming down like an absolute mother and it's not fun, put it that way. Right, just sort of approaching Plymouth now. I want to be in this first lane. Tell you what, the, the engine brake on this lorry is so ridiculously good. Even when I'm fully loaded, she works like an absolute beaut. I barely have to touch the brake, other than when coming to a stop, really. Shame the day's so miserable, really, because normally driving along this bit is so nice when the sky's blue and you can see all the water. It all just looks really grey and miserable. This has got to be the wettest spring that we've ever had, I reckon. So I've decided to go with the park outside and crane inside. Um, they've got two lorries in there that is kind of blocking me from reversing in. So we shall do the outside block the road strategy. Well, I say road, it's an industrial estate, but I don't usually like blocking the road and stuff. Um, in this case I need to and what I'll do is I'll unstrap and then I'll position myself in the right place um, and that way I'm, I'm giving anyone who wants to come past before I start unloading to get past and jobs are good in. Good timing because I've just finished prepping and a car wants to get past so I'll move for him now. You're welcome buddy. Dockley, dockley. Next job, get the crane out and just lift this off. That is a big old crane over there, isn't it? Get my heart out. So this is what I mean by I'll be blocking the road. But to literally <laughs> block the whole thing, basically. Time for the uh, the big boy to come out. Let's get his bag off first. At least it has stopped raining. And up she goes. Probably just gonna tuck it right in the corner over here. last left easy peasy nobody actually wants to get past yet quite nice basically just put a run up against this bin jobs are good in yeah see I've got I've got a lorry wanting to get past now um, get out of his way. He won't be able to squeeze past me with uh, the leg in, so I'm going to put this in and then move completely so he can get past. But I'm done now anyway, so... Okay, 
unfortunately. Thank you for being patient, buddy. Appreciate that. Good to go. So, that is my morning delivery done. I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the day, to be honest. Um, I think I'm doing some higher stuff, higher related stuff, but I don't know what I'm doing, where I'm going. So, I'm gonna take this opportunity to, apol to apologize to Thomas Elliott, Tom Elliott, um, he wanted to see what I was up to in the Scania this week. I was in the Scania the other day, and unfortunately, it's not in this video. But I, I just did a delivery to the bottom end of Cornwall. It was a nice day, really good actually. So, but guys, if you want to do what I'm doing for a living and start your journey um, of becoming a HGV driver, then you can always go through D4 Drivers to book your driver medical. They are the UK's largest medical provider for drivers. Um, really simple, really easy to, uh, to go through and use. And you get seven pounds off if you use my code. So usually 55 pound for, for a medical and it'll cost you 48 pounds using the code James48. I am due back at quarter to 11. And then, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the set, for the rest of today. So, if you want to see what I'm up to on a dailyish basis, feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. It's at Trucking with James. Thanks very much for joining me on this uh, on this week's journey, guys. I know it's not been a pre, uh, I know it's not been much, but unfortunately, there's so much going on that I can't show you. So I'm having to record the little bits that are going on that I can show you. But that will all change in due course time. Don't worry too much about it. Again, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in next week's vlog. Ciao, ciao! For now, we'll do a little toot toot for good luck, eh? Yeah.